welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, we have a raid notification happening on one day. We're picking up exactly where we left off yet the last episode. I'm uh, recording these ones back to back again. So we're going to wait the one day, get the Wolverine back, and jump straight into that raid. Whatever it is, I don't really care. We're just going to go and fight it. Um, and in the barracks, uh, Mothman was able to get his gunnery up one more point. So I did that. And then Granite, we're, we're waiting for a gunnery for him, so we're just going to leave our points. But other than that, everybody else is still fine. So let's just jump in straight to this one, one day. Uh, now the question is, does our mech come back? So this is saying two and a half in the jungle. So maybe it is. I don't know. Glorious Zenith, eh? What's our mission? Should we choose to accept it? Which we just did. What are you telling me here? Battle in the jungle. Okay. So, I think we just leave it like that. Yeah, so the Wolverine did come back. My concern was is that it registered the mission starting before the Wolverine came back into play. But I guess it doesn't do it that way, which is nice. So, um, do we want to take the Helopolis or do we want to take the Hunchback? Let's go this route. I mean, this is technically better all around just because of the amount of armor it's got. So, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we're good. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. So these guys are attempting to escape the planet. Ah, this map. This heat isn't going to help. Anything. It's not. Let's find out if they got reinforcements. They certainly do. So it's two against one. Hmm... Well, we're going to push to here anyway. Ah, I fucking hate this map. Uh, yeah. The fight is going to be here again. That's the... I mean, the map's okay. The only thing I don't like about this particular start spot is there's really only one... I mean, unless you want to take a lot of time moving around them, in which case they're firing down on you, there's really only one way to handle this, and that's to attempt to take this high ground. Once you've taken the high ground, as long as you have the firepower, it's pretty much over for them, but... So we're going to go and do that. We will do that. Alright, looks like we might have some better opposition this time. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Of course you are. Looks like enemy I told you that before we even started, buddy. Mackie. Ooh. Thunderbolt. Battle axe. Okay, we are in for an interesting fight. Griffin. You know, three skulls last time and it was garbage, and this time it's like... By. They got a good roll, I'll give it to them. Not much I can do about it. Um, how do I want to start this? Sensors, probably. Uh, let's get up here, see what we can see. I'm going to change how I'm going to play this one, though. I know taking this hill is important, but they we they can see us going through here, and we, that could be an issue. Thunderbolt I'm worried about. Oh, not too bad. It's a BBX-5, which is, a I think it's a discount um, LBX. A pair of MRM-10s, one of them's damaged, and bolt-on rockets. That's a pretty damn weak loadout for a Thunderbolt. Um, it's kind of confusing. Maybe, you know, but now that I said that, it'll probably murder us, right? So that's a 70 ton battle axe, Toronto lasers. So these are older mechs, so not too bad. Mackie's got Thumper. Well, that's who we're shooting for first. That's going to be an issue. Good thing I checked that. Chariot, some tandems, Thunderbolt, that's going to be an issue too. And maybe they've only got the two back here. Lightning with some bomb racks. And a heavy, oof, that guy's got to go. These all, I mean, they all got to go, but around 15 here. So that's a more modern Griffin. All right, so let's drop the sensors on the Mackie first. Oh, it won't let me do indirect with the sensors. I got to be able to see my target. Well, we're still firing these. Engaging target. Nothing. What the hell? That's all right, don't worry about it. Oh, there's a Karkov. So they do have an extra... Full extra lance. Receiving you. Do we reserve this? 
I hate giving the uh, giving them the initiative next turn, but then I also hate giving them the ability to shoot us a little better this turn. The thumper is the only thing that's going to hurt us, and we're kind of clustered a little bit here. So I can't even see this guy. Oh wait, where was the blue line? Right here. That's not bad. Gives him the ability to shoot us, but he's got Tronals. I mean, like, honestly, we got the height advantage. He's got minus one because they're Tronal lasers. So, I mean, let's see if we can get some early damage out on this guy. Okay, the uh, Ultra's hit. Order. You are going to be very important in this battle. Very, 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 very. How many varies is that? Six or seven varies. We need it. Important. Okay. Once we burn this battle axe, then we can start worrying about these guys. Uh, we'll try to backstab it if we can and get rid of it. Because once we... So... My point to that is, if we can, once the, the battle axe right now is, if you think of this as like a, a scythe or a, a pendulum swinging, this is the tip of the, the swing, so he's going to come around this way, but if we clear the tip, that lets us slip around behind all of these guys, which is what we want to do. So if we can do that, Standing by. that would work well. Um, I really want to get you up against the aircraft, but I don't think that's going to happen. Let's get to here, though. Primitive. Worry about that next turn. Let's generate some evasion and get some height. Generate that evasion and get some height. Here it comes. Confirmed. Another hit. Nice. Make that guy sweat. Did we get a head hit on him, by the way? Because it looked like we did. We did. Or maybe his head was already damaged. I don't know. Thunderbolt. Okay, he's got HE. That piques my interest. Stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. Yeah, but it would be nice to pick up the HE as a backup. For, oh, Chaparral. Ah, arrow system. That's bad news. And he's so far away, too. All right, we got to send the Cephalus over there. All right. Do I want to send you down? I think I do. I'm thinking for range, right? Like... Although the height advantage would be a bonus. Oh. We can't get to point blank, which means it's going to be harder to hit. Oh, we get a bonus for being higher. I don't know if that's better to, to like getting right up in behind somebody, but let's get up here. Going as I think fast we'll as I think I we'll can. use this guy to provide support for the um, the cloudbuster up here. Take a couple shots at this guy. Hopefully, hopefully we land one. Okay. Yep. Thing's pretty reliable. Okay. Damage minimal. Waiting for orders. Hmm. On the move. We're gonna work to getting up on top of the hill, I think. I think we do that. Stay indirect, howitzer, yep, Lars Laser, Artemis, yep, here it comes. Oh, he's got a ultralight gyro or something in there, because he's got like no uh no stability threshold. It's Monsieur Tronel. Damage is minor, Commander. Alrighty. That guy's scary. Yep. 
Yes, Commander. All right. Um, keep going for the hill. Let's get to. Let's get. Let's take this hill. I want it. It's mine. You cannot have it. All right. Laser bonus is giving us a bit. Actually, look at the machine guns on this thing. Let's see if we can just kill this guy quickly. Get him out of play. Taking the shot. There you go. That's a kill. Commander. Not quite. Not quite. Which means this guy still goes this turn. I should have just uh, I don't know. We'll see what we'll see how this goes. See how this goes. What's your back armor like? Garbage. Good. Excellent. I don't think that guy's gonna turn and shoot you. I don't think he's got the juice for that. Standing by. Alright, we need to start spreading out a little bit more here. Hmm. Let's get to the trees. Double time. Let's go. This thunderbolt's unstable, so let's uh let's make him even more unstable. Gotcha. See ya. Thanks for showing up. Oh, somebody was carrying inferno ammo. <laughs> it's just uh it's so enjoyable when you just watch them melt down. It's like melted cheese. All right, um, do I want to drop around on this guy? No, I think he's a, he's going to be a kill for the uh, Cephalus, probably. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe we go after this battle axe again. Let's keep him interested in us rather than the Cephalus. Copy that. Keep him interested in us. Here comes that arrow launcher. Nope, not gonna shoot, eh? I live to serve. Can you get up to that copter? Yeah, see. There's an issue with the targeting. I thought they said they fixed it, but I guess they didn't. Because you that? need to be able to target the the uh, ground, like we're underneath the helicopter, to be able to target it now. Whereas before you didn't, so I have to be able to target this to be able to shoot at him, which wasn't the case before. Two hits, nice. Oof. Oh boy, heavy hit there. It was. Fucking Tronals, man. Okay. Let's get out of direct line of sight of people, please. The Shayatir. Yeah, maybe that hunchback would have been better in here today. With the AMS. Yes, Commander. How's your front doing? Oh, you still got lots of armor. Side, not so much. Front, yeah, we got armor. Copy. Get up here. Spread out a little bit if we can. Take a shot at this guy. Engaging. Oh, we got one hit on. Nice. Turret hit. Yeah. Uh, this thing's got the PPC. Oh, you know what that means, though, too? Is he can't shoot me. Unless he has a direct line of sight from the ground. So that's still bugged. Commander? It's been bugged for a little bit now, I think. Affirmative. Let's draw this Mackie's attention if we can. I want to get some sensors on this guy, too. So the tag up to the top, not that it matters. And firing. Copy that. Tags on. Miss with the large. And sensors. 
Nice spread. Orders. All right, TF. Uh, this guy wants to just uh, die for you. He's like, I want to die for you. Don't think he will, though. Let's unload everything on him, though. See if we can bring him down fast. At least we'll make him panic. Firing a full salvo. There we go. Ammo explosion. Getting a little toasty, Commander. Wow, somebody had a lot of infernos. Wow. That was a big explosion. That was a pretty big explosion. <laughs> what the hell did he have? <laughs> Ready for orders. Ah, uh, this game is so much fun. All right, um... It should be illegal how much fun this game is. Let's get up here. Get a shot on this, uh, Mackie. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he had, but he must have had Infernos or some shit, but... Firing on target. Ah, we missed with the, uh... Damn, we missed with the, um, Thunderbolt. That's so why we need the, uh, the HE ammo. So at least we're doing some kind of damage. Yeah, there's the H E ammo there. That's the guy you want to hit. Thank you. We can do a trade-off duel with you and me. They will be done. Well, those guys can't see I'm you. Going. Might as well go over here and shoot this guy. Ninety-nine percent, huh? Um, I think that deserves one of these. We'll try and get the kill on him. Take all the buttons. I bet you both of those hit the back. No, back in the opposite side. Because why would it hit what we're shooting at? Ow. Fuck. Not much armor left in that location. Well, if you would... Eh, whatever. It's not your fault. Not your fault. It is what it is. Uh, go that route. More armor damage. I don't think it matters <laughs> direct or indirect, but we'll fire that. And you're overheating. We're not going to get a chance to use these anywhere else, really, so let's go ahead and use everything here. How's it going, buddy? Reporting critical hit. Looking a little toasty there. Short range missiles are out. I think he's going to be shut up for a while now. I think he'll be shut up for a little while. So let's uh, blast him straight in the face if we can here with this. Okay, we got one on. Let's see what they do. Who's up? Copter. You need to GTFO, baby. Aye, aye. Get to you in a second. Oh, we got targeting on the uh, aircraft. We'll go. Heavy PPC can do more damage than the... Uh, well, that's probably a kill shot. Well, that might be a kill shot, too. If we don't hit the front, which we shouldn't, because we're shooting from the front, right? In theory. Firing on target. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Really, you're just gonna miss with all that? Good to go. All of that stuff you had, and you just were just like, ah, I don't want to hit with any of that. Not today. I'm just not feeling it. On my way. Just not feeling it today. All right, let's hammer this guy. Engage. All right, nice. Removed. I think I didn't shoot for, yes, with, for him with the other guy. Uh, you can just... Why don't we go over here and stand in the water? Because technically that is water, so let's go and we're just going to walk over here and... We'll brace it up, get our heat back. There we go. <laughs> I still can't get over that. 
Uh, and this thunderbolt is like this red stain on the ground. Ready for orders. That's actually, your armor is actually not that bad still. Move to there. See if we can just flak bust this guy. I'm just gonna shoot because you couldn't hit what you wanted to hit before anyway. There we go. Oh man, what an explosion. Nice. Reporting enemy battle mech down. Popped him like a zit. Look at this. See ya. Good to go. I guess he takes a turn to reload the chaparral or something. I'm not even gonna move. We're having a duel here. Having a duel. There you go. Hostile removed. Bang. You're dead. Standing by. Let's go find something we can put this Ultra 20 on. Two locations. A chaparral, maybe? He's probably going to shoot at you next turn. What do you need? All right, buddy. Um... I need you to seek this chaparral. Because we can probably get a kill on him here. I'll take the shot from the griffin. But we want to try and kill this guy, I think. Confirmed. Okay, everything hit. Nice. Not enough to kill, but... Standing by. That's alright. We'll get there. Roger that. We'll get there. And we'll drop some missiles on you. Yeah, it's pretty close. We should be able to get it with the uh, Cloud Buster, I think. Commander. Well, you didn't really get to do what I wanted you to do, but Holding whatever. Up. I was going to get her to flank this guy. But he died too early. I was going to get her to attack the Mackie from behind, but he died too early. Indirect... And firing. Confirm. Don't waste the damage, baby. Here comes the arrow. No? Yes, Commander. That's interesting. We can't even see that guy. I can from over here. Wait, how does that even... Oh, I see. Never mind. Uh, I don't think you can survive Griffin Fire, so let's get back here. Affirmative. No point in uh, risking it here right now. We got this one in the bag. Right here. Let's not uh, bag ourselves. Get it? Ha! <laughs> uh, it was funny. Um, that's pretty low. A little better. We got lots of evasion, so let's uh, hopefully give this guy a pasting if we can. 18%. We'll take it. Okay, firing up. Couple hits. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, you back up. Alright. I was expecting that, but I was hoping he wasn't going to do that. Here's the thing, it's like, it's it's a kind of a catch-22. You, you don't want the enemy to do well, because you want to win the battle. But you at least want the enemy to do well enough that you feel like you've earned a victory, as opposed to like, their mechs not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Well, you don't even get to kill the chaparral. Boy, you're sad today. Like, you don't even get a chance to do too much. Well, you know what? Exploding that battle axe is probably more than enough excitement you need for dinner <laughs> for today. Because that was pretty hilarious. Commander. Alright, get you up here. We're going to go this way, though. All in Griffin's the most advanced mech, and it's the only one still alive. He didn't push, though. If he pushed, he could have threatened our backsides on the hill. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Could have definitely pressured our backsides on the hill. 
Wonder if I should pull that LRM5 out of that uh, Wolverine. I'm here. All right, let's keep him under pressure. I'm ready. Put our back armor to him. Not going to risk losing anything yes, at this commander. point. Hmm. Hmm. There's nobody left, is there? I was going to say I'll just reserve, and there's nobody left. I'm there. Alright, let's see if we get a lucky shot on him here. Yep, we got one shot on. Nice. Aye, aye. All right, let's Go see if we can finish this guy off. He's kind of stuck here. He can't really get off this ledge. Unless he's got jump jets, and I don't think he does, so... Let's see how you like this. Missed with the most important one. I guess I can't take the LRMs off, or else you're not actually going to be doing any damage, are you? <laughs> we'll shoot this guy. Firing. Okay. What's he doing? Yeah. Swing and a miss. Commander, I'm hit. Yeah, of course. It's going to hit you anywhere. It's going to be in the meat. We walk that. How do I feel about this? Confirmed. Don't know how I feel about this. Locked on target. If we're gonna hit our own guys, let's not make it too bad. Right here. This is the one I'm worried about. Alright. I'm gonna shoot it. Ooh, one hit, nice. That looked like a critical hit. Consistently doing well, I gotta say. Watch my heat gauge. Engaging. Huh. All right. Aye, aye. So 28% melee. Moving to position. 28%. And garbage chance to hit here too. But we're taking it. Rear armor it is. Ooh, tags on. Nice. Come on, bail out. Reporting critical hit. Yes, Commander. Do you think you can get up here? Oh, you can. <laughs> I was going to say, do you have enough speed to get up here? I was like, fuck, of course you do. Well, it's wife. bizarre oh, that the griffin didn't go down the hill. Copy that. Oof, really? Reporting. Negative damage. I can see yes. that. I just want to try and scare this guy to see if he'll bail. SRMs again only. Target lock on enemy's rear. Engine crit. That hit something good. Alright, what are you doing? Come on, just run and then bail out. Probably not a wise Standing move. By. Probably not a wise move. Oh, I can't get a back shot, so it is a wise move. Okay. I didn't move that far last turn. Ah. 
<sighs> right here. Go fast. Let's just go over there. I'm receiving you. That way it lets you shoot. Oh, not you. I'm you. Down. Gives us the ability to drop some arty on this guy's ass. Locked on. Okay, nice hit. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. Mission successful. Sometimes it's just good to remind enemy mech warriors that it's not always good to be the center of attention. And that's exactly what we did to that Griffin pilot. So, that's why he bailed out. He's like, nope, I'm done. Now, Chaparral, four parts. Okay, I don't think we're going to focus on any of that stuff. Although there's a whole Griffin here. I can't get the whole thing, though. The 6S has got three laser, one missile, and one support. Not a bad version. And then there's a whole Mackie. Do I just take the Mackie parts and a whole Thunderbolt? What's the hard points on this guy? One ballistic, one laser. It's a shitty loadout. Like, isn't doesn't the Thunderbolt normally have like three ballistic? Like, doesn't it have a an AC slot and then two machine gun slots? Or am I wrong? Or is it one AC, three laser, and two missile? I can't remember. I can't remember. Heavy PPC. 75 damage for 45 heat and damage fall off. Two MRM 10s. Thumper, endo. Another light engine. Double heat sink kit. So the question then becomes uh, LRM Artemis ammo. MRM slug. I think this does reduce damage dealt, but does more uh, instability, right? What's the, uh... Huh, it doesn't really say. I'm pre two, Yeah, 200% stability damage dealt. I don't think the trade-off's worth it. Unless you have, like, a big MRM, like a 30 or a 40. I don't think this is going to provide enough instability, like... Does it say on the MRM what the instability is? Stability one per, so it would be two per missile. Which, when you figure you've got a threshold, most mechs have a stability threshold of 40, you'd have to land 20 missile hits in order to make them unstable. And that's, yeah, that's the threshold of 40. So each bar is 20. So with an MRAM 40, if you hit with half of them, you might make a mech unstable if you're using slug. But if you have a really great chance to hit, you still wouldn't get enough for a knockdown, but it would be almost enough for a knockdown. Heavy Pharaoh. It's an interesting idea, though. Thumper ammo. Uh, okay. If I take stuff from here, what's the immediate upgrade? So the light, X, the light engine would be an upgrade for a mech right away. Um, what else is an immediate upgrade? I don't think there isn't much else then. I mean, we could take the MRMs and the ammo and put them on what? You'd ultimately want to put them on the Talos, so if I did that, I'd have to take the two MRM 10s, the ammo, and then I'd also have to take the light engine. So those three things would go in the Talos right away, and then we'd have one thing left over. Or we just take the parts and hope we get a... Uh, I mean, we could just take the Mackie parts and hope we get a Mackie. And then some make, make some wacky shit-ass... One Ballistic, three Laser. It would really just be a mobile artillery piece, I think. But it's so slow... The Thunderbolt would be what? Besides, we'd have to use 
Like, I mean, we could probably squeeze the Ultra 20 in there. If we get it. We don't have any ammo for the Ultra 20, though. Uh, we could put the AC... Uh, put an AC-10 in there, because we do have some Inferno ammo, I think. We could run it as an Inferno boat. But with only one laser and two missile hardpoints... I guess you could put a LRM-20 in there, maybe? Or a pair of 10s or a pair of 15s or something? And then a... I don't know, a large laser? I don't know what you would put in there. The battle axe, yeah, it's... <laughs> Nothing left of that thing. Or the Griffin. I'm not happy with any of these mechs. That's the thing. Like, I know it's a 100-tonner, but if you're... I mean, I guess you could put three PPCs in and an autocannon and then try to find some way to sink the heat. And I don't have an engine for it at the moment. We have a 250 core, but... That's that's all there is. Is there cores here? 275. We'd have to hope we get them. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go. Let's go light engine. Thumper weighs what? 18 tons, right? 15. Because we could ditch the howitzer and go with the thumper instead. Uh, let's go with the light engine. Oh, man. Yeah, the BBX-5, it's like the uh, recoil of three... Jam chance. It's still the same weight though. Oh, it's a quick sell, that's why. <laughs> really? Heavy PPC is 10 tons, right? Yeah. Well, oh, you got a ton of MRM ammo. Really? Really? You know what? Screw it. Just screw it. And go. Alright, well we got a battle axe part shop rail part, griffin part, and let's have a look here. We got one, two, three, four, and five. There's a Mackie. <laughs> Alright, well, there you go. Two Thunderbolt pieces, LRM-15. We want to get rid of the aggro laser and the machine gun. Definitely keep the 275. We got the light engine. Primitive can go. All of these heat sinks can go for no money. Oh, the double heat sink kit, the heavy pharaoh. Nice. Thumper ammo. Okay. So we got some pretty good stuff here. We got a we got a Mackie. Alright, 44.5 or 45 and a half thousand. Uh okay, so we got three days before the next mission. And everything's back in four or five. That figures. Back in five days. So we have to miss that miss that next mission. Which really sucks because I'm kind of enjoying playing these. I don't know how it affects the world though. Like if I go uh, navigation. So where are we here? Oh, so their forces are now minus one. Ours are five. I think ours started at 14 and theirs started at 15, didn't it? Something like that. So are we having an impact or I don't know what we're doing here. Maybe. Maybe it's the skull value. So three skull first mission and two and a half skull is what? Five and a half skulls. I don't know how that would have played into this, but maybe it's a value of three per. I don't know. I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. As long as we're winning, that's all I care. Um, so, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to leave that Mackie for now. I want your opinion on this. 
So if we bring the Mackie forward, if I go to mech base real quick, what we could do is switch the loadout, like the artillery loadout off of the this guy. What was our core on this? A 280? So it's not much different than the 275 we just picked up. Man, we really need to get the next... We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get the dropship. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of this guy. Uh, it's been sitting around for so long. Um, actually, does it... Oh, right. Never mind. Um, let's just refit this thing. So what does it have? Nothing. So we're just going to sell this. Let's just get rid of it. Get rid of it out of here. It's costing us, so we'll just put it out. Put it out of its misery and get rid of it. And then, I think we worked towards getting that dropship, but... See, the Mackie, it's like, I don't know. It is the old... I mean, it is an old Mac, right? So it's got the thumper. Uh, large laser and a couple mediums, I think, right? Or something like that. Like, I don't know what we would put in there. So weapons-wise, we could go with the Ultra 10 and the caseless ammo, which I know we have, right? Where are you here? Come on. There it is. Three tons of caseless ammo. So we could go with an Ultra 10 and then double heatsink kit and some big lasers, like three PPC Donalds or something. It'll be super hot, but we have lots of tonnage to jam heat sinks in. I won't bother putting like um, ferrofibrous or endosteel on it because I don't think we'll need it because the engine's going to be so small, right? The core itself is going to be like a two something, 275. We put the standard fusion uh, engine in it because it it's probably obsolete. So it's probably got an old engine. So we put that in it. And then just standard armor, right? Or we could put the TAC immune Duralast armor on there. Maybe reinforced structure or something. I don't know. Could put that on the arm to re re reduce the recoil and stability gyro, maybe. I mean, Ultra 10 and three PPCs. It's not going to move very fast. It's going to be like a 2-3 movement or something like that. Or 2-4 at the most. So it's going to be one of those mechs that if we're doing a defense or something like that, we just put it someplace central. Or if we're attacking, we just put it up on a hill somewhere. But without a proper optics system, it's going to be just, you know, shooting in the dark. Rotary 5, but we don't have proper ammo for it. We don't have anything else. I mean, we could put the mortar on it too, but we don't have any mortar ammo. Yeah, it's still, it's one of those things, this is the thing I don't like about taking mechs all the time. If you get a chance to get them, great. But if you take too many mechs too early in the game, you just don't know how, you don't have enough junk to out, outfit it properly and make it work well, right? And I hate feeling mechs that are like completely garbage, you know, it's like three large lasers and a, you know, AC5 or something like, I mean, yeah, okay, it's doing okay damage, but it's just kind of whack. All right, well, let me know down in the comments what you think I should do. I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. I, I'm just happy letting the Mackie sit there for now till we can outfit it properly. Like if we use it later on with like a, at least a 300 core in there. Probably a 300 core gives us 3-5 movement. Artillery piece, right? And then, you know, a couple of long-range ER lasers or something like that. Would probably be the best call for that one. Or if we can get a 400 core. Yeah, if we get the 400 core and a mask or a supercharger, you could put an Ultra 20 on it. 
and then maybe three snub nose PPCs or something. If you could get it to fit with the weight. Because <clears throat> the 400 core is going to be pretty heavy, right? We could, I mean, if we had a light engine or a Klein XL, you could make it, you know, even lighter than that. But it's going to be like 62 tons or something or more with just a 400 core in there before you put on armor and everything else, right? So we could lower the armor slightly. But you'd want to put on, like, at that point, if you're going to close, you're going to want to have some armor that's going to give you, like, reduction in damage and stuff, too. But anyway, I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys let me know what you want me to do with it. I'm going to leave it for now. Let it sit there. There's, it's not hurting anything. We don't really have the sea bills at the moment, and we want to get the new dropship, so we're going to focus on that. But I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.